Have you read the transcript? I have. And your reaction to the transcript? Look, we saw a lot of folks in the media, we saw a lot of Democrats earlier this week hyperventilating and saying that there was an illegal quid pro quo. The, the, the transcript clearly doesn't show that. So the allegations that were present even just a few days ago um, have not been demonstrated on the transcript. Should you mention Biden's name now? Was that across the line? Uh, look, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to... I'm, I'm not going to get into word by word. And listen, where House Democrats are, they're not looking to the facts. Their end goal, their end position is impeachment, and, and the facts and details are, are not of a concern to them. I think having the head of state of our country um, uh, talk to another head of state and say, I, you know, I'd like you to help me on something that's political and in nature is uh, is a very troubling matter, and particularly a country like Ukraine that depends upon that depends upon our support. Uh, that's way ahead of the game now, and and uh, uh, we'll see what uh, happens through the process. You voted on a resolution asking for the full whistleblower report to be filed. Mm -hmm. Tell yeah. me about that. Why is that different than the than the transcript, and why is that important? Well, I don't know what's in it, but there are other things. Uh, obviously, Mr. Giuliani was acting on behalf of. I'm not quite sure who he's acting on behalf of, but he was acting in his interactions with the government of Ukraine. But we'll get more information on those things, but it's already based upon the transcript. It's a very troubling setting.